let's find the variation of the function y equals x squared plus 6x plus 8. Uh, the best way to do this is to be able to visualize it. And the best way to visualize it is to sketch it. Um, so let's make a sketch of this. Let's have our coordinates over here, x and y coordinates. And let's sketch this thing. Now I know it crosses the y-axis at 8 because when I substitute x equals 0, I get 0 plus 0 plus 8, so y equals 8. And uh, I'd like to know the vertex and, if possible, the zeros. Now, in the previous videos, you saw that uh, it's possible to factor this into the zeros form to solve for the zeros, uh, or just use the quadratic equation to find the zeros. And you would find that the zeros occur at x equals minus 4 and x equals minus 2. Now finally you'd like to know where the vertex is and you can do that by tra transforming this uh, general form into standard form or function form and the function form looks like this x plus 3 squared minus 1 so this happens at a vertex of so the vertex is minus 3 1 so the h over here is the negative of whatever it is in here so minus 3 minus 1 is somewhere over here. So connecting the dots I have this something something like this. That's a pretty pretty ugly parabola but uh, remember it's just a sketch. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Now um, I'm looking for the variation. Variation basically means when is it increasing, when is it decreasing. So f of x increases and let's take a look at where it increases it increases from its minimum and onwards this way so this is it this is the function increasing over here uh, if you can imagine yourself sitting on a roller coaster cart and rolling down and then back up this thing then when you're going back upwards you're increasing therefore this part of the function is increasing and so where does this happen at what point does this happen it happens from here onwards, all this here, and it keeps going as long as the function keeps going. So we'd like to know what is this point over here. Well, we know what point that is. It's the x component of the vertex. This is minus 3. So it's increasing from x belongs to minus 3 all the way to positive infinity. Now what about if I asked you where it was decreasing? So it's decreasing like this all the way up until here. And uh, you would, you would, if you were on a roller coaster down here, you would feel yourself decreasing as you roll down this part of the slope over here. So you are coming from all the way down here, all the way down there, and you stop decreasing when you reach negative 3. So in fact, f of x is said to be decreasing for x a part of, or an element of, negative infinity all the way up until negative 3. So this is how we find the increasing parts and decreasing parts of this function. Uh, the variation of the function. We're always talking about the domain of the function, so be careful not to talk about the range. We're talking about the domain, and uh, the red part of this domain corresponds to the decreasing, and the blue part of this do domain corresponds to the increasing.